Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new video. For today I'm unboxing and taking a look at the Xiaomi Mi 5S. So we have a Snapdragon 821, we have 3 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, a 1080p display, a 12 megapixel camera on the back and a 4 megapixel camera on the front. So I got the white version of the phone from uh, the looks of it. So this is the phone, we'll leave this aside for a quick second. Let's uh, see what else we get in the box here. So first of all we get a little booklet with some instructions that uh, they're all in Chinese so I can't really understand anything. And then we have three little boxes in there. Let's see what we have inside. So first of all we see the SIM card tray removal tool. That's uh, this. And let's see what we have in here. So we have the charging cable. So we have a USB-C charging cable this time around. And on this side, we have the power adapter. And let me get this close to the camera. All right, so moving forward, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, I guess that's that's about it for the box. So nothing else, that's it for the box. So we have a charger, a cable, and the booklet that's in Chinese. All right, and the phone. So like most Xiaomi phones, it's made out of metal. On the back here, we have a sticker, which I'm gonna remove. We have the camera there, that's the 12 megapixel uh, camera. We have a dual tone uh, flash right there. The power button and the volume keys that are also made out of metal, they do feel very, very nice. At the bottom here, we just see the Mi logo. And on this side here, we have uh, the slot for the SIM card. On top, we're gonna find a 3.5 mil audio jack and no IR blaster. And all the way at the bottom, we're gonna find uh, what seems to be two speakers, but I believe only one is uh, a speaker, and the USB-C charging port. So on the front, we have a little uh, sticker as well, which I'm gonna remove. So we are gonna find uh, the front-facing camera. As I said before, it's a four megapixel uh, camera, and the button which you don't actually push, you just touch. So it's not a regular button, it's one of those uh, like Apple devices, basically. So let's uh, go ahead and turn this on and see if we have any battery. And we get the Mi logo there. And it's on. So uh, we barely have any battery. So hopefully it's not gonna... So we have 10% battery. We'll leave that uh, alone. So first of all, I was able to see those uh, bezels around the screen. So let's change the wallpaper uh, first. I'm gonna put something whiter so we can actually see the screen better. So yeah, we have uh, rather large bezels all around the screen. I'm not sure why they chose to do that. It doesn't look that uh, appealing. So yeah, we have very, very large bezels. However, the screen does look uh, pretty nice. Good viewing angles from what I'm uh, seeing here. So we'll skip that. So let's uh, check out the settings uh, here for a second. At about phone. Let me turn down the brightness a bit. So we have Android the 6.01. We have three gigs of RAM and 56 gigs available out of the 64 um, of internal storage. So all you have to do is touch this button and uh, it's like the home uh, takes you to the home screen and it vibrates. The phone vibrates every time you actually touch this. And we also have two little uh, buttons right here. So let's uh, see what uh, new settings new stuff we have in here so display sound and vibration really not that uh, much it's just like uh, all the other uh, xiaomi phones that we've seen all right now let's check out the camera quickly so let me get something here let me get this and this so let's uh, see that camera again uh, the camera looks like the camera that you'd find on an iphone but these black bezels really bother me for some reason. I don't know, they don't look good at all. Yeah, the camera is uh, pretty quick. And if we zoom in, we can even see the dust on that uh, keyboard. So a lot, a lot of detail uh, in that camera. So we'll see how the camera does outside and uh, in low light conditions. 
So overall, uh, I'm not that impressed with this phone for some reason, mainly because of those black bezels uh, around the screen. I guess if the phone would have been black, it would have been uh, much better looking. So we'll, uh, we'll see how well I get uh, used to it. Next, uh, for today, I'm going to do a speed test between this and the Google Pixel XL because they both have the Snapdragon 821. So it should be kind of a fair comparison. This one has a 1080p and the other one has a Quad HD screen. So we'll see how well they do. Alright guys, if you do have any questions, uh, please leave a comment down below. Hopefully you like this video and uh, you press that like button, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.